Chief in 98, I think, 98, 99. My name is Peter Harris, and I came to this campus in 1970 as part of the class of 74. And the school was in transition from finishing school to bring your college. You know, we got notices over the summer that if you plan to bring a horse to school, that there was a state report. <laughs> <laughs> I graduated in class of 72, came here in 87 through 90. Um, my, uh, my next door neighbor freshman year was Fernando Spoilers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> do, they, do they all know who? Yeah, uh, yeah, no, you know, should say that is. Star Media was the AOL of Latin America. And for about him. two minutes, Fernando was worth billions on paper. And I hired him to work on the paper. <laughs> <laughs> I was editor in 73 and 74. It was a tumultuous time when we were starting to kind of try to gender neutralize everything. And I can remember discussions about is it personhood or is it person? What? How do we say? <laughs> woman became woe person. Woe, woe person, yeah. We couldn't call it woe man, so it had to be woe person. <laughs> we had son, so it had woe woe person. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you and I are the only two people on the planet who need to know. We went from being like the editor in chief to now we were the publisher, the publisher of the news group. <laughs> uh, because it wasn't just the paper, it was the paper and the magazine and the, the, there was the, the Con Review, the sort of annual parody. We did for a while there, like, uh, it was like a, a broadsheet, like a daily, uh, which yeah, when we, when we dug your stuff up, it looked like we were finding, like, the lost Mayan empire. <laughs> yeah. Was, I, there were these letters written to people who were, like, late on a Friday or something, as if they were coming from the head of GE. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's weird, because I'm very negative, right? The, I don't think about the best stories that we wrote, I think about the best stories we didn't write. We, we sort of really tried when given this opportunity to kind of not leave anything on the table and just make it uh, as, as great of a paper as it could be, um, try all these different things out, and at, at, the, at moments when Khan felt a little sleepy to us and people weren't sort of awake, you know, to try to wake them up and have these great discussions in The Voice and other places. I ended up working for these crazy, wonderful, amazing guys, sound, light, staging, multimedia, corporate clients, and, but I was the only person in the room that had a really good, solid education from a great school, and they'd hand me all the proposals, and could you rewrite this? Could you put it in, you know, like, corporate terms, you know, versus, it's going to be big and good. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you that I loved every minute that I was on campus, and coming here, was uh, the greatest four years of my life. Congratulations to all of you as well on the uh, the Mark of Excellence Award that uh, you recently won. Um, sort of continuing the tradition of excellence of the voice and all the parts. 